Yes, I learned about sex education in school, but I did not know that I learned about it because it was not taught to me in a way that I was able to understand. Young persons with disabilities are almost four times more likely to experience violence than their peers without disabilities, and nearly three times more likely to be sexually abused. We need to be aware of the amount of autistic women and girls who end up in very controlling relationships. Control can look a lot like care. Pandemics like COVID-19 result in an overall increase in gender-based violence. And some of those most affected are persons with disabilities. Girls and young women with disabilities are at high risk. As a person with a disability, I would like others to know that people with disabilities have the same sexual and reproductive health needs as their able-bodied counterparts, and yet they face barriers to information and services. The barriers persons with disabilities face during COVID-19 are becoming even greater and may lead to more reproductive rights violations, including forced or coerced contraceptive use, sterilizations, and other procedures in the supposed best interest of persons with disabilities. During the COVID-19 pandemic, persons with disabilities need to have equal access to sexual and reproductive health services, including through medical visits, accessible telemedicine, and other virtual ways of providing services during isolation and quarantine when they are making laws, when they are making, when they are having campaigns, when they have civic education, they should involve people like us. Measures should be put into place by states in partnership with persons with disabilities to ensure dissemination of public health and other response information in accessible formats. Response efforts focused on gender-based violence should ensure during COVID-19 Persons with disabilities can use an accessible hotline to report abuse and violence, have persons who check on them to ensure their safety and well-being, and can reach trusted family and caregivers, especially for those persons with disabilities who are isolated at home, in institutions, psychiatric facilities, and prison. Disability inclusive, gender equitable, and the youth-friendly response during COVID-19 is possible and necessary.